Swelling in the legs is extremely common. Some studies will say that one out of every five adults will have some sort of edema in their legs, while other studies will say that one out of every two adults will have swelling in their legs. Swelling in the legs and the feet can be incredibly painful for some. It can cause issues with walking around or moving around, and it can even cause skin breakdown and wounds. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist as well as a certified lymphedema therapist. And on my channel, I talk a lot about how to treat and manage leg swelling and lymphedema. But today in this video, we're gonna talk about what causes leg swelling. To see or hear more topics on leg swelling and how to manage it, be sure to subscribe down below. You can also check out my website at cancerrehabpt.com for more resources, and you can follow along with us on Instagram for more related content. Swelling in the legs and feet can be caused by a lot of different factors, and it's always best to work with your doctor to help diagnose specifically what condition you have. But in general, swelling is usually caused by two different things, either fluid retention or inflammation. So let's start with fluid retention. Fluid retention can be caused by a couple different things, including vein issues, lymphatic issues, or even kidney issues. Venous insufficiency is the most common cause to leg swelling with fluid retention. It affects up to 40% of women and up to 20% of men. The blood from your heart pumps through your body down to your legs through your arteries, and then the fluid comes back or the blood comes back up to your heart through your veins. If the veins aren't working correctly, there are little valves in the veins that help pump the fluid through, and if those aren't working correctly, then the fluid pools down in your legs. You also have to think about it has to work against gravity all day, and so it has a hard time pumping upwards out of the feet and out of the legs, especially if it's not working as well. And so when the fluid's pooling there for a while, it can cause a lot of skin changes. Not only is someone gonna have more swelling, but it can also change the color of someone's skin. So one of the main signs of this, if someone has red, purple, or even brown tinted skin in their lower legs, that's a hemositer staining and a sign of venous insufficiency. Someone will also likely have some sort of skin changes. The fluid that sits there a long time will harden the skin, and in some circumstance when it's severe enough, it can even break down the skin and cause wounds. And because of this, it's always important to get treatment for it so we don't have any higher risk for infection. And someone will probably you know, address the veins or they'll wear something like compression stockings to help support the lower legs and the feet with a medical level compression stocking like this one that has a good amount of support to help with the veins um, pumping the blood back up. Lymphedema is another cause of leg swelling and it's similar to how the vein issues work but it's with the lymphatic system. So like we talked about with the veins, the arteries still bring all the blood down to your legs and your feet and a lot of that blood comes back up through the veins. But some of the fluid actually comes out of that. It has proteins in it and it's clear and it's called lymph fluid. And the lymphatic vessels are what bring that fluid back up towards the heart. And so we have the veins bringing some and the lymphatic vessels bringing some. And so the venous insufficiency is for the veins, but if there's a dysfunction or something wrong with the lymphatic system, then someone can also get swelling, which we call lymphedema. Lymphedema can be caused by a genetic issue. Someone is born with a dysfunction of that system, or also commonly someone will have lymph nodes removed for something like cancer surgery or another injury that damages the lymphatics. Like I mentioned, I talk a lot on this channel about lymphedema management and how to treat this, so be sure to check out the other videos on my channel for that, and I also put a playlist together of the basics on how to manage lymphedema, and I'll link that up above. Another cause to lymphedema or even venous insufficiency or vein issues is due to morbid obesity. We do know there's a correlation with uh, morbid obesity and swelling because the excess fatty tissue that is in the body can damage lymphatic vessels, can put pressure on lymphatic nodes, or also damage veins, and that can also lead to swelling in the legs and the feet. Another main cause of swelling the legs and the feet or fluid retention is kidney issues. This can be acute kidney failure or chronic kidney disease. 
your kidneys filter waste products from your blood and your body gets rid of them. But if your kidneys aren't working correctly, they're not gonna be able to filter through the fluid quick enough and that's gonna cause a backup in the body, which will cause more swelling in the legs. Now this is a very serious condition, so it is really important that you check in with your doctor for more guidance and treatment. Other causes of fluid retention or leg swelling are things like cardiomyopathy or heart failure, liver failure, certain prescription medications or even chemotherapies can cause swelling, pregnancy can cause swelling, as well as something like a blood clot. Now, some of these are critical that you work with your doctor for to treat right away, especially something like a blood clot can be really serious. And so if you have any new signs of swelling, the first thing you want to do is check in with your doctor. But in general, I'm just sharing because these are all possible causes of leg swelling. So all of those things we just talked about all fall under the umbrella of fluid retention. And like we talked about, the other major kind of cause of swelling is due to some sort of inflammation. So let's talk a little bit more about inflammation. Inflammation is usually some sort of injury, such as a sprained ankle, maybe a fracture, maybe they, someone tore a ligament. Those will all cause swelling and they're inflammatory. Someone will typically have pain or other symptoms that come along with it, but for certain things like a surgery, so say someone had a knee replacement, some swelling can linger on for a couple years after the surgery. So some people will say they have a knee replacement, but they notice ankle and foot swelling. Well, two things. One, if you think about the lymphatic vessels in the veins and they have to come from the foot up through the leg, well that knee area is congested right now and there's a lot of inflammation. So it's gonna get backed up and you're gonna have more swelling down below. The other thing is that gravity is an important piece and that does play a role and so the fluid's more likely to pool down below. So those things can cause swelling long-term. If someone had a history of maybe a bad ankle sprain or an ankle surgery and when they were a lot younger, they may always have some sort of underlying swelling in their foot and ankle area long-term. Another thing would be like arthritis, either osteoarthritis where the joints will swell or rheumatoid arthritis where the joints will swell as well, but just for more inflammation or inflammatory reasons. Those can also cause swelling long-term, but most of the swelling in that case will stay around joints. The last and big thing is if someone has swelling that comes on really quickly and it may be hot or red, that's either a sign of a blood clot like we talked about before or a sign of infection. And both of them are very important to get medical attention for right away. Um, if someone has infection, a lot of times we see like cellulitis, which is a skin infection. Um, the swelling can linger on for weeks or months after the infection's even gone. And if someone has lymphedema, like we talked about before, and they get an infection, their swelling might actually be worse when that is over with. So again, I know that is a lot to talk about, but there are just so many different causes of leg and foot swelling. So that's why it's really, really important to work with your individual doctor to help figure out what your personal swelling is caused by so that you can correctly and effectively address it. If someone's swelling is a vein issue or a lymphatic issue, then again, you can check out the other videos on my channel on different ways that we treat and manage lymphedema. But I hope this video was helpful. I know it was a quick overall summary of all the causes of leg swelling and foot swelling, but if there's another topic within that you wanna hear more about, you can put that in the comments down below for a future video. Other than that though, we will see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.